Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Studio Series 86 Core Class Ratchet. Before we take a look at the figure, let's take a look at the packaging. So, of course, this is a Core Class, so this packaging is pretty standard for Legacy and Studio Series. So, of course, we have an open window displaying where the figure would be packaged. Of course, we have the Transformers the Movie logo. We have the Autobot symbol, Autobot Ratchet, of course. We have Transformers on the side here. We do have a nice artwork of Ratchet in his remote with his pistols. Another artwork shot of him up there with the Studio Series logo holding his pistols on the bridge of some really cool Autobot ship. And of course we do have another picture of Ratchet with his head, and he transforms in 15 steps, of course product shots of the ambulance and robot mode on the back, and that's pretty much it for the packaging, so let's now get into the review. We have Ratchet in his really cool looking robot mode, let's take a look at the details, starting at the very top with that head sculpt, some nice silver for the face, some blue for the eyes, and some grey for that main crest section, and some white for the helmet section. Getting to the shoulder, of course, we have some nice white for the forearms and the shoulder, and some red for the hands. I really do like this nice badge design they got going on with the Autobot symbol in the center, done in some red and white outlaying, that looks really good. Of course, getting to the chest, some nice blue for the windscreen, and some white for the sculpted in windshield wipers, and if you actually move the shoulder, there is actually some more blue for the side side mirror, side window, which actually looks pretty good. Getting to, of course, the chest and stomach, some nice red for the crotch, and of course some white for the stomach, and getting down to the rest of the figure, mostly done in white, and you can actually see some gray for the wheels, which of course that is really for the alt mode. And if you go to the back, you can actually pick out the ambulance uh, light or siren piece there, which looks pretty cool. And this is actually compatible with flight stands, I'm not really sure why, I guess that was the uh, initial intention, I don't really know, but you can actually get, if you have flight stands, that is actually compatible, which is pretty cool. And useful if you do stop motions, but overall detail wise, I think it actually looks pretty good. So, unfortunately, with this figure, there is actually a lot of loose joints for some reason on the right leg for my copy, it just constantly pops up. So, I do apologize if during articulation and transformation it pops off a lot, it's just so annoying. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below if you have that same problem with your copy of this figure. But as for articulation, of course, there is a butterfly joint, but that's really due to transformation. Of course, there is a ball joint at the shoulders, so it can move all the way around, the arm can move out and in. There is a very tight swivel, there is an elbow bend, no uh, hand rotation unfortunately, but of course it is a core class figure. So there is waist rotation, but I would advise you to get this panel and move this up, because of course there is this tab here that will block this section from rotating. So move that up, and then of course you have full waist rotation. And of course when you're done, move that down. Now for the legs, of course, it can kick that far forward, that far back knee bends, and of course out to the side, and that's pretty much it. Of course there is again a swivel there, and no ankle pivots. Pretty good articulation, I just wish some of the joints were a little bit tighter. Uh, even the left leg pops off quite a bit, but overall detail wise, I think they definitely nailed it. Let's now get into accessories. It comes with two very simple little pistols, but actually do look very G1. Done in some silver, and of course you can plug these into his hands, just like that. They're actually very small and can be hard to handle sometimes for my big hands, and of course then you can get the other, just plug that into his hand, like that, and now he has his pistols, and I think they do look very cool, and by the way, of course, they are blaster piece compatible, which is really nice, but I do wish he kind of came with like a wrench, or like a toolbox, because of course, if you watch the Juin show, he repaired and fixed a lot of things in that show, he was usually the mechanic or medic, uh, usually with wheeljack, so I kind of wish maybe he came with some tool or something, kind of like if you have the Walgreens exclusive Siege Ratchet, that actually did come with a uh, kind of wrench or something, so I kind of wish that was included, but of course, it is only like a 10 or $12 figure, so I really don't expect a lot to come with it. But that's pretty much it for the remote. Let me get in one quick ratchet comparison, then of course we'll get into some uh, core class comparisons. So here he is with the Earthrise uh, Galactic Odyssey ratchet. I do apologize if these figures are just completely blown out by my background. I really don't have anything else to put there to make it better, but as you can see, they do share quite a bit of characteristics. Of course, the blue windscreen, of course, at the chest, uh, the uh, redness, uh, of course, on the shoulder shoulders, even the head, as you can see, both share that kind of gray crest section. So overall, I think they definitely match quite a, a, a few similarities. I actually really do like, I'm not sure if this was their intention, but if you can see, there's a little circle piece on the back. It kind of does match the big shield piece on Earthrise uh, Ratchet, so I'm not sure if they want to like recreate, make it look like he has a shield in his back. I'm not really sure, but I think they look pretty cool next to each other. Um, 
And if you want Ratchet, um, you know, of course, easily get this one. This one was a very hard to come by figure. It actually took like nine months for me to get this. It was so slow on Amazon. So if you were never able to get this one or the Walgreens Ratchet in the full size scale uh, for Deluxe Class, you can easily get a Core Class one, which of course you can get anywhere. So that's always nice that it's a bit easier to get a character that you want. That's pretty much it for the Ratchet comparison. Let's now get into some Core Class comparisons. Off our core class comparisons, here we have, I would say, the bulk of the majority of the G1 core classes that have been made so far, of course. We have Starscream, Skywarp, Optimus, Ratchet, Shockwave, and Soundwave, and I will bring out Megatron in just a quick second. Unfortunately, I was unable to fit all of them in at the same time, but as you can see, they look actually very, very cool next to each other, and of course, most of these are from Kingdom and Legacy, and of course, this one is from Studio Series, so size-wise, I think they definitely pretty much kept the same scale for all of them, and I think they do look very cool next to each other, and I actually really do like if they um, continue making some some of these Seussers uh, core class figures from the 86 movie. They can make like a Bumblebee or a Smokescreen or Prowl. I think that'd be pretty cool to see because we do have a lot of the main characters from that movie. I, we have several different versions of the Siege Prowl mold and the Earthrise Prowl mold. Uh, so I think we are definitely covered on the deluxe scale. But if we had some mini versions of those, that'd be really cool to see. I did hear uh, we are going to get a repaint of Ratchets into an Ironhide. And I think that'd be pretty cool to see. And I'll definitely be picking that up. Also, a Rumble is going to happen. And I would definitely 100% get that. And, of course, when there's Rumble, there's always Frenzy, so that will definitely happen soon as well. But uh, very cool core class figures. Let me just quickly take Starscream off to the side, and then I can bring in Megatron, another very classic character from the uh, movie and show, and I think that looks pretty cool next to each other. And I think they definitely need a Bumblebee. I'm not really sure why they haven't made a uh, 86 or even Legacy uh, core class Bumblebee yet. I know we did get uh, one from a Buzzer with the Bumblebee 2 pack with Spike, but I really didn't count that. I was a full size figure. It was really sort of a 2 pack just to be kind of easy for uh, I would say younger kids to get because they were very simple and simplistic in design and transformation. But they do all of our look very, very cool next to each other. Let's now get into transformation into the ambulance mode. We're going to transformation into the ambulance mode, so what you're going to do is go to the chest, just open this panel section right here, fold in the head like that, and then you're going to make sure this chest piece goes underneath this whole top panel section like that. You can then go to the back panel and of course get the arms like this. You can then hinge in the arm like that, do the same thing on the other side, just hinge that in. You can then get the form, rotate this in where the slot section is of course facing inward, do the same thing on the other side, and of course there is a tab and a slot, so these will just tab in together like that, and there we go. And then you can rotate at the waist, so of course the front grille section is facing the right direction. You can then collapse this whole waist section like that and make sure the legs are out, so you can then open this whole panel section like this on both legs, hinge this at that ball joint at the knee, and then of course everything will tab together. So this is the part where it can be kind of annoying because unfortunately in my copy the legs do tend to just randomly pop off whenever they want to, so I do apologize if that happens. Also for some reason on my copy it doesn't have it does have a tendency to have a gap in between there so I might have to go off cam and fix that. And of course for the last step there is a tab and slot. Tab that into place. Same thing on the other side. And there we have the transformation fully complete in its ambulance mode. As you can see, there is actually quite a few steps and similarities between this core class and of course the Earthrise version. The legs and the arms are pretty much transformed and stored the exact same way, but overall that's pretty much it for transformation. Let's now take a look at the details of the ambulance. Ratchet is really cool looking ambulance mode. Let's take a look at the details. Starting at the very front, of course, we have some nice blue for the windows on the side and front. Some nice white for the sculpted and windshield wipers. Some silver for the grill, and of course on the side we do have some nice blackish gray for the wheels. There is quite a few panel lines, but I'm not really typically that picky with the core class figure. There's some nice spread for that light piece, and overall I think it looks pretty good. Of course, you could probably see the doors back there, and some more windows there, overall looking pretty good. Unfortunately, on my copy, it does have a tendency to not want to tab in, but if you took the time, you could probably get it pretty flush without any lines or anything. But overall, I think it looks pretty cool. I think it rolls very, very well. Overall, a very cute looking little ambulance. As for accessory storage, of course, there is a tab on the blaster and a slot on the ambulance itself. You can just tab that into place. Same on their side, of course, tab and slot. Just tab that into place like that. And there we have both blasters stored on the ambulance, and I think that looks pretty good. Let's now get into quick comparisons. Of course, we do have Core Class Kingdom Optimus Prime. I think that looks pretty cool next to each other. Two very classic G1 Autobots. I think it'd be pretty nice if maybe if they uh, did another Optimus, they could give him his trailer. That'd be pretty cool to see. But overall, look 
pretty cool next to each other. And now for another quick comparison, here we have, of course, Studio Series 86 Ratchet with the Earthrise Galactic Odyssey uh, Deluxe Class Ratchets. And both are ambulance modes, and I think they do look very cool next to each other, of course. There's a lot of bad rap about the Earthrise one, because there is sort of parts forming involved with the whole shield piece. It doesn't bother me, I think it actually is pretty cool to have a huge shield in the robot mode. Of course, that's why a lot of people like this one, there's no parts forming, but I think they look pretty cool next to each other. And I really wouldn't have minded if they maybe put sort of a red stripe, kind of like this one has, right across this. I think that like, would look pretty cool, but of course, they don't have a big budget for core classes, because they're only like 10 to $12, so I'm typically not that picky, but I think they look very cool next to each other, and that's pretty much it for the ambulance mode. Let's now get into the final thoughts. So the final thoughts for the Transformers Studio Series 86 Core Class Ratchet. I think overall this figure is pretty good. Starting in the ambulance mode, I think it actually looks kind of cute and funny. It's really cool how you can start the blasters on the side. I kind of wish this figure maybe came with like a wrench or maybe a toolkit or something like that, because if you watch the G1 show or the movie, he did a lot of repairing and, of course, mechanical stuff, and he was a medic, so I really don't think it makes all that sense to give him two blasters. It'd be fine if he came with, like, a welding torch or something like that. I think that'd be pretty cool, but overall, a cute little ambulance. I kind of wish maybe uh shared the same detail, like the Earthrise Ratchet one, where there was sort of a red stripe across or sort of maybe a, uh, another ambulance symbol or um, a hospital symbol, something like that, a, a, a badge sign, something, I think that'd be pretty cool. It does look a little bit bare on the side with only just white and some black for the wheels, but I do like the uh, red on the top for the uh, light or the siren, and of course the blue for the windows actually looks pretty good. Transformation-wise, uh, I think overall it is pretty simple, of course, it's a core class figure. It's like 16 steps, but I think you'll get it down after using the instructions about one time. It can be a little bit frustrating to get all the panel lines, as you can see on top, there is a big gap there, so unfortunately on my copy it does take a bit of uh, force in getting used to to get all the lines seamlessly and tabbed together and no gaps or anything like that but uh, another complaint is I wish some of the joints were a little bit tighter for some reason the right leg for my figure on ratchet it just always wants to pop off it just never wants to stay put the left leg does pop off but not nearly as much so of course you can do some modifications I typically do not modify or change anything about my toys I don't really like to put anything on it I really just like to keep it how it is but if you're okay with doing something like that you could use some floor polish and I think that would be make it a lot better Getting down to robot mode, I actually think it looks pretty cool with uh, both pistols in his hands. They're actually blast by piece compatible, which is always nice. Sometimes they're not, but that's a really cool feature. Um, good articulation, of course, most pretty much everything is ball joints. It's actually really cool to see that there is a butterfly joint for the arms. That's not really, I wouldn't say on purpose, that's really due to transformation, but it's pretty cool for poses. Overall, I think it's a pretty good figure. I highly recommend it. I actually really do like the core class line, or core class figures in general. I definitely will be getting that rumble. That rumble figure uh, in Sisseries actually looks really, really cool. I'm really looking forward to getting Frenzy as well. Uh, they haven't revealed Frenzy yet, but of course, they're pretty much the exact same figure, so they'll just repaint it red, and of course have one blue for rumble. I think that'd be pretty cool to have in the collection, so of course, stay tuned for those reviews. I think Rubble's supposed to come out uh, maybe September or October, I've heard, so um, that could be pretty soon. But um, overall, pretty good figure, so um, if you uh, haven't realized yet, of course, I have not reviewed uh, any Sue Series figure on this channel before. This is actually the first one, so I think I might start getting into some more Sue Series figures, as you uh, just heard, of course. Um, so if you have any that I think uh, you think I should definitely get or review that I would really like, let me know in the comment section down below. I would be open to trying any. I would actually actually really love to get the Studio Series Devastator, but I don't think that's going to happen because on the aftermarket, those prices for those figures are going insane. So uh, any ones that are affordable, let me know in the comment section down below. Hope you enjoyed this review, and I'll see you next time.